Hey everyone, my name is Julian and welcome to UWR 3D. Today was the first day of uh, R3D and we started off with the kickoff. So we all gathered together in uh, one of the uh, design bay rooms and we watched the kickoff from the start to the finish. Uh, after that, we uh, went through the game manual, divided into teams and kind of bounced the ideas off each other and uh, actually took some information from the game manual about game rules and robot rules. Uh, from there, we went to designing some robot classes that we thought a robot should be able to do. We came up with ideas and from those ideas we developed some mechanisms that we thought would be pretty good to use uh, throughout the game. Um, so our main strategy uh, for this weekend is to uh, design a robot that can target the lower cargo ship as, as well as the lower target on the rocket. Uh, we felt that these were pretty achievable to do with three days uh, with the resources we have and is a pretty good kind of baseline for some rookie and even some newer teams to even try. Um, in addition, we also wanted to get onto a level 2 climb. Uh, we did debate with level 3, but we ultimately decided that if we can get ourselves onto level 2, it would put us at a higher advantage for the rest of the match. Uh, the next kind of subsystem we, kind of, we uh, chose to focus on was the drive base. Um, it was completely designed and built today. Uh, we chose a West Coast drive uh, with 6 inch pneumatic wheels. Um, we chose 6 inch pneumatics because it helps us play defense if we have to. It also helps us get off the platform in the beginning of the match and also to get onto the platform in the end game. Uh, this drive base was chosen based on the resources we had. Uh, from last year's RR3D, they had a West Coast drive, so we decided to implement it again. And uh, we also had some 6 inch pneumatic wheels around, so we decided to use those too. The next mechanism we decided was the hatch mechanism. Um, we designed it and prototyped it today. Uh, final iteration will most likely be done tomorrow. Uh, so the main kind of uh, things we took from the hatch was to uh, pick up from the loading station and from the floor. We felt that this would be really advantageous for us uh, during the match. Um, so the, And we also decided that the mechanism must be in line with our bumper uh, instead of inside the frame perimeter. Um, and we chose this uh, kind of design so that we can place onto the cargo ship as well as the, the lower level rocket without having some interference with their bumpers. Another design constraint was for the mechanism to be inside the frame perimeter well, before the match starts. So that was also uh, a factor when in designing our, our mechanism. Uh, so finally we designed and prototyped a sort of arm that goes over the end of a bumper to pick off uh, hatches from the ground. The arm has hook tape on the, on the end that attaches to the loop side of the, of the hatch on the ground. And once we kind of went for the touch it, own it kind of strategy, so as soon as the arm touches the top of the hatch, it'll bring back up into the upright position so that we can use to place onto the hatch covering. Um, also, in, a, in the upright position, it can uh, collect a gear from the loading station on our aligned side and can place at the same time. Uh, to place the hatches onto the covering, we decided to use pneumatic pistons. So we were uh, developing some pistons that go along the side of our mechanism and push the hatch onto the covering. So the last uh, mechanism we designed was the cargo mechanism and uh, we chose to do this because we felt that the cargo also adds a certain aspect of the game where it's worth to score the cargo. Um, so we are, will be designing and prototyping this tomorrow. Uh, the main challenge of the uh, mechanism was to decide whether we pick up from the loading station only, the ground only, or a combination of both. Um, the final decision is still kind of uh, in talks with the rest of the team. Um, another main issue is uh, that we have to deposit the cargo into two different heights. Uh, the rocket, the lower level rocket and the cargo ship, uh, car cargo deposits are at two different heights. So we have to design a mechanism that can reach both. Um, and we were debating between passive and active uh, cargo mechanisms. Our passive idea was to just have a gravity uh, ramp that takes from the, the loading station and can direct it into the, the rocket. Uh, level or to the cargo ship. Um, our active mechanism was a, a roller that essentially just rolls the ball up the side of the robot and can store it into an intake of some sort or just deposit straight into the, the scoring zones. Um, and that kind of recaps day one. Uh, hopefully we can see you guys tomorrow for day two.